Greetings to you all, this is Sean, and uh, welcome back to another astrology video. I'm so happy that you could uh, join me today. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be uh, talking about the uh, natal moon in uh, Gemini placement. Now, uh, what is it like for uh, someone to uh, have this uh, placement in their uh, astrological birth chart? Well, first of all, we have uh, the moon, which uh, represents emotions, intuition, feelings, uh, maternal instincts, and the mother. And uh, on the other hand, you have the uh, zodiac sign of uh, Gemini. It's um, a mutable air sign, which uh, deals with uh, thought, communication, and writing. And uh, when uh, these, uh, these energies are uh, synergized together, you'll uh, come up with an individual who um, can be very uh, talkative, can be very chatty, uh, who um, is very intelligent, very witty, but uh, can also be uh, somewhat flighty and irresponsible. The moon in uh, Gemini person uh, loves to uh, make, meet new acquaintances, and it's not uncommon for them to uh, have a large uh, circle of friends. Uh, these are the uh, kind of individuals who are uh, very active on uh, social media and um, you could probably imagine they have uh, hundreds if not uh, thousands of uh, followers on uh, Facebook or uh, Instagram. And um, they uh, strike, a, strike up a very good uh, conversation uh, with uh, practically anybody they meet. And uh, they often uh, like to be the uh, life of the party. And uh, you often, uh, they um, are the ones themselves who, um, who initiate parties. They'll uh, invite their friends to uh, come over to their house. And uh, Moon and Gemini people just love to uh, know um, everybody uh, who they meet on, uh, a very intimate level. Um, they uh, are curious about uh, what goes on in the world, uh, what goes on in the uh, lives of uh, others, and um, they um, at times uh, need to uh, learn to sort of mind their own business because uh, not uh, everything uh, is uh, of concern to uh, these uh, individuals, um, they, uh, may they may have the ten temptation to ask uh, very personal questions that um, may uh, be deemed inappropriate by others. So um, yeah, yeah, that's that. They uh, may have had a mother who uh, encouraged them to um, take up uh, reading and writing and uh, learn how to uh, speak from a very young age. Um, the moon in Gemini mother may uh, have been very uh, chatty and witty herself and uh, wanted uh, their children to uh, grow up having the uh, same level of uh, articulate uh, speech and uh, uh, methods of writing uh, as they did. Moon in Gemini people often possess a uh, great sense of humor. Um, they uh, can be comedians and uh, with their uh, profound uh, skills in communication, uh, it's uh, quite common for them to uh, take up careers in uh, journalism, um, reporting, um, news broadcasting, or they may even uh, become actors if uh, they uh, are artistically inclined. Uh, they may uh, have uh, a keen keen sense of uh, writing that uh, beautiful uh, romantic novel or that um, nonfiction uh, book because um, their uh, skills in uh, writing are so versatile. Now, as I mentioned, the moon in Gemini individual can be uh, very uh, fickle and flighty. Um, they uh, are not uh, keen on uh, taking up uh, responsibility as uh, much as uh, the other moon signs. Uh, at times they can um, find uh, 
their domestic life to be uh, very uh, boring, which is why uh, Moon and Gemini people must uh, always be on the go. Um, they have such uh, highly uh, fluid imaginations and uh, intellect that uh, they need constant stimulation. They need to uh, constantly uh, be out and about, uh, seeking adventures, uh, seeking uh, to travel to new uh, destinations. They uh, may uh, have an interest in uh, one subject one day and uh, another uh, subject the following day. So um, they um, have uh, various, uh, in fact, many uh, different interests and it's hard for them to uh, stick to one uh, particular topic uh, while uh, focusing uh, on, well, trying to uh, focus on um, other things too. Um, they're too, um, their thought process is too spread out. They, they find it hard to uh, concentrate on one thing at a time. When it comes to relationships, Moon and Gemini people are not uh, so stimulated so much by uh, physical appearance, but uh, rather uh, the uh, intellect and intelligence of the uh, other person. Uh, they uh, fall in love with uh, words and uh, the mannerisms in uh, one's uh, speech that um, they um, are not the most uh, idealistic when it comes to uh, matters of the heart, but rather they're flirtatious. Uh, they're the kind of people who uh, find it very difficult to uh, be tied down to uh, a single relationship for uh, their whole life. Um, the idea of marriage is um, very uh, limiting to uh, many uh, born with the moon in Gemini. Uh, they uh, require the freedom to um, explore uh, different kinds of relationships, meet uh, many uh, different kinds of people, and uh, even if they do um, settle down, uh, it, they are not uh, focus so much on their uh, partner. Rather, they uh, in tend to enjoy uh, speaking to their uh, other friends, um, the uh, family members, the other family members of uh, their partner. And um, Moon and Gemini people, uh, they're uh, most compatible with uh, other uh, lunar air signs, such as a Moon in Libra or a Moon in Aquarius. And they could even do well with uh, fire signs, uh, Aries, uh, Sagittarius, and Leo. But um, being in a relationship uh, with uh, someone who was born with, say, Moon in Virgo or Moon in Capricorn, uh, that would just be uh, too limiting for the Moon in Gemini person because uh, those earth signs are just uh, too uh, solid and stable for them to um, have a uh, constructive relationship. Celebrities born with Moon and Gemini include uh, Barack Obama, Jim Carrey, Khloe Kardashian, Hugh Jackman, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, Kali Minogue, and Billy Idol. The two tarot cards I personally uh, like to affiliate the moon and uh, Gemini uh, energy with are that of the moon and uh, the lovers. The moon uh, has a lot to deal with the uh, unconscious mind and um, as you can see here this uh, represents a uh, path leading up to uh, the moon. Um, I'm more familiar, personally I'm more familiar with the uh, Rider White Tarot deck but uh, for the purposes uh, of this uh, video, um, I just wanted to uh, show you a different kind. Uh, now, this uh, path, you could also say uh, it leads off into the uh, unknown. And uh, much uh, is unknown at the uh, unconscious level. And um, a lot of our, our uh, maternal instincts, uh, hidden instincts, uh, represent uh, lunar energy. And uh, on the other hand, you have uh, the card, the lovers. 
Um, this uh, represents the uh, zodiac sign of uh, Gemini, and uh, it uh, depicts uh, a man and a woman um, in love, and uh, it just uh, symbolizes the uh, partnership, the uh, duality of uh, the uh, Gemini uh, zodiac sign. So. Um, Quite uh, often at times, uh, Moon and Gemini people are have uh, multiple things uh, on their mind. Uh, what's uh, good and bad? Uh, should we do this? Uh, we can do this and we can do that. We can do this and we can do that, etc. And um, yeah, they have their thought process so uh, scattered that uh, it's uh, so hard for them to uh, focus on one single thing at a time. Overall, the uh, Moon and uh, Gemini uh, person is uh, very fun to be around. Um, they uh, always like to uh, stir up a good conversation. They will uh, always like to uh, listen to uh, what you have to say. And um, even though um, they uh, may have a, a tendency to uh, distort the truth, uh, since um, Gemini is uh, ruled by a uh, Mercury, um, Nevertheless, uh, they are uh, excellent partners and um, they uh, have uh, the ability to um, just uh, empathize with your emotions, although um, they themselves have a hard time um, understanding, uh, feeling their emotions uh, as well, which is another uh, challenge uh, for these people. So this has been my uh, general perspective on the uh, natal moon in uh, Gemini individual. Now, uh, of course, it all depends on uh, where, which house the moon is uh, placed in uh, one's uh, horoscope and uh, the aspects that are uh, made to the moon and uh, which uh, cusp the uh, sign of Gemini uh, falls under that can uh, determine the true nature of uh, the moon in a Gemini individual. So um, I encourage you to um, study other uh, perspectives of uh, the moon in a Gemini uh, trait. And um, I do want to uh, thank you for watching. Please like, comment and uh, subscribe to my uh, channel. My name is Sean and um, I do uh, want to thank you for watching today. Um, have a wonderful day. God bless you. And I'll just close by saying peace, much love, and namaste. Thank you so much. Be kind to one another and stay safe. Thank you.